Learn with Peppa Pig. Transport. Today we're going to learn all about transport. <laughs> we can use transport to get from one place to another. There are lots of different types of transport we can use. Shall we take a look at some of them? Yippee! Great! Off we go! <laughs> beep beep! Here's Peppa and her family in their car. A car has wheels and travels by land on the road. Peppa loves the family car. Shall we see what else travels on the road? Oh look! Peppa and her friends are going on a trip in the school bus. What a very steep hill! Well done, Miss Rabbit. A bus also travels on the road and has four wheels, but it's much bigger than a car and can carry more passengers. Whee! It's Granny Pig on her motorbike with Grandpa Pig on the back. Pepper and George are riding with them in a sidecar. What a lot of fun! A motorbike also travels on the road and has wheels, but is smaller than a car or a bus. You sit on a motorbike and must always wear a helmet. Let's look at some more types of transport. Choo choo, choo choo. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is driving a train. This train also travels by land, but it rides on special train tracks. Other vehicles might travel by air. Let's find out what they are. Oh, Pepper and George are flying in a big aeroplane. I love flying in aeroplanes. An aeroplane travels high in the sky. It has two wings and an engine to make it fly. We might travel in an aeroplane to get to a different country. Look, Dr. Hamster is taking a trip in her plane. Dr. Hamster's plane is a smaller plane. Up, up and away! Oh, what's this? It's Miss Rabbit in her helicopter. A helicopter also travels by air. It has blades on the top that spin round and round to make it fly. It can go straight up and straight down. A helicopter is often used for emergency rescue. Let's take a look at some more types of transport. Yippee! We can also travel by water. <laughs> Look, it's Grampy Rabbit in his rowing boat. A rowing boat is a small boat. It floats on water and you have to use two oars to make it move. You might go for a nice ride in a rowing boat on a lake. It would take you a long time to get very far. If you wanted to travel more quickly on water, you might use a sailing boat like Captain Dog. Ahoy there, Captain! A sailing boat has a sail that uses the wind to make it go. It can go much more quickly than a rowing boat. Golly, what a loud noise. Pepper and her family are on a cruise ship. A cruise ship is a really big boat. It has an engine to make it go and can carry lots of passengers. There are lots of different types of boat of all different sizes. We've traveled by land, air and water. How exciting. Oh, look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we have a game of our own? Yippee! Great, let's go! <laughs> Which of these three types of transport travels on land? The car, the boat or the aeroplane? That's right, the car travels on land. Which of these travels on water? Well done! The rowing boat travels on water. Which of these travels by air? Yes, it's the helicopter. Which of these drives on special tracks? That's right, it's the train. And on which of these must you always wear a helmet? That's right again. You must always wear a helmet on a motorbike. Yippee! Well done. You've just learned about different types of transport. <laughs> You've also learned that we use different transport to travel by land, air and water. Perhaps you've travelled on some of these types of transport. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. 
space. Today we are going to learn all about space. Are you excited? I am. Let's go to space. Ooh, look, it's night time and Pepper and her family are stargazing. Can you see? They are looking at the stars. See how they twinkle in the sky. When we look at the stars, we are looking into space. Shall we take a closer look at the stars? Super! Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Ooh, what's that? It's a telescope. A telescope helps us to see things that are very far away. We can use a telescope to look closer at the stars. Look at that! See how close that star looks. We can see lots of other things in space too. A planet. A shooting star. We can even see the moon. Shall we explore some more of space with Pepper? Great! Let's continue on our adventure. Yippee! <laughs> Look! Granny Pig is wearing a spacesuit. A spacesuit is what we wear when we go into space. It protects us and has a big helmet that helps us breathe. People who go into space are called astronauts. But how might we get to space? Shall we see? Oh! A rocket is a vehicle that takes us into space. Three, two, one, blast off! Whoosh! The rocket is flying into space. Zoom! Look, they've landed safely on the moon. I wonder what it's like on the moon. Shall we see? Whee! You can jump very high on the moon. Whee! Well done, George. A flag to show that you were here. Ooh, a space rock. Let's take it home with us. Time to go. Ooh. And back home safely. That was an adventure. Oh, look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game about space? Fantastic! Off Yippee! we go! <laughs> Pepper and her family are looking up at the sky at night. What are they looking at? <laughs> That's right, the stars. And what might we use to look closer at the stars? Yes, a telescope. What else might we see through a telescope? Well done, a shooting star, a planet and the moon. Which vehicle do we use to get to the moon? Yes, a rocket. What do we wear to go into space? That's right, a spacesuit. And what do we call someone who goes into space? Well done, an astronaut. Well done, you've just learned all about space, how to get there and what you might find there. Why don't you imagine being an astronaut and what your own space adventure might be like? Off you go. Three, two, one, blast off! Learn with Peppa Pig. Days of the week. Today we are going to learn about the days of the week. Yippee! <laughs> there are seven days in a week. Shall we find out what they are? Each day has a different name. The beginning of the week starts with Monday. After Monday comes Tuesday. Wednesday is next, followed by Thursday, then Friday. After Friday, we have Saturday, then Sunday. After Sunday, the week begins again with Monday. Shall we have a look at that again together? 
The seven days of the week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Great job. Now we know what the days of the week are called, let's see what Pepper might do on all those days. <laughs> Well, Pepper might do lots of things on different days of the week. Today, it's Monday, and Pepper is going to playgroup. Have a lovely day, Pepper. I wonder what she'll do tomorrow. Shall we see? It's Tuesday, and Pepper is visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Now it's Wednesday, and Pepper is having a play date with Susie Sheep. On Thursday, she might jump in a muddy puddle. On Friday, Pepper might go to the park to play. On Saturday, she might go shopping with Mummy and Daddy Pig. And on Sunday, Pepper might go to the beach. There are lots of different things to do in the week. What sort of things might you do this week? Look, Pepper is playing in the playground with her friends today. Today means this day that we are in now. Yesterday was the day before today. Yesterday, Pepper went for a walk with her family in the forest. And tomorrow, Pepper is going to go to the petting farm. Tomorrow will be the day after today. What are you doing today? Can you remember what you did yesterday? And what will you do tomorrow? Whatever it is, I hope you have fun. Well done. You've just learned about what a day is, how many days there are in a week, and what the days of the week are called. Have a great day. Learn with Peppa Pig, Pepper and you. Today we're going to learn about Pepper and what makes her unique. We're all unique. That means there is no one else exactly like us. Isn't that great? Yippee! <laughs> this is Pepper. Hello, Pepper. Shall we find out what makes Pepper unique? Let's go. Look, Pepper is drawing a picture of herself. When we draw a picture of ourselves, it's called a self-portrait. She lives in a house with Mummy and Daddy Pig and her little brother George. Pepper goes to a playgroup with her friends and Madame Gazelle is her teacher. These are all things that make Pepper unique. There are lots of other things that make Pepper unique. Shall we find out what some of those things are? <laughs> Pepper loves doing lots of different things. She likes playing Happy Mrs. Chicken on the computer. She enjoys riding her bicycle. Whee! She loves eating spaghetti. She likes reading. There are so many great books to choose from. And she especially loves jumping in muddy puddles. Her best friend is Susie Sheep. She has a pet fish called Goldie. Her favourite toy is Teddy. These are all things that make Pepper unique. Yippee! <laughs> you are also unique. Can you think of some things that make you different from everyone else? Shall we look together? How old are you? Do you go to a playgroup or to a school? Maybe you have a teacher like Madame Gazelle. 
there are lots of things that Pepper enjoys. Can you think of some things that you like doing? What do you like to watch on the television? What food do you like to eat? Pepper loves to jump in muddy puddles. Is there something you particularly love to do? What toys do you like playing with? Perhaps you have a special book you like to read. Maybe you have a pet or a best friend. Look, there are so many things that make you unique as well. Isn't that fantastic? Well done. You've just learned about what makes Pepper and you unique. Learn with Peppa Pig. Technology. Today we're going to learn about technology and how Yippee! it works. <laughs> there are lots of different types of technology. Televisions, computers, phones and even some of our toys. Shall we find out more about them? Great, let's go! Technology uses electricity or batteries to work. Look, there's the plug and there's the socket. In it goes. Electricity comes from the socket so the television will work. We should never touch a socket. And we should always ask a grown-up to plug things in for us. Some technology uses batteries instead of a plug. Batteries make electricity so the toy can work. If we don't have electricity or batteries, technology won't work. Look, Pepper and George are dancing to some music. Daddy Pig is vacuuming and Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Oh, the lights have gone out. Pepper and George's music has stopped. Daddy Pig's vacuum cleaner oh. won't work and Mummy Pig's computer oh. has switched off. There has been a power cut. There is no electricity. Electricity is what makes the technology in Pepper's house work. Shall we have a look at some different types of technology? Great! <laughs> Susie Sheep is watching Mr. Potato on the television. Television is a type of technology. We watch our favourite shows on a television. Look! Wow. Pepper and her family are on the television! Hello, Pepper! Perhaps you have a favourite show you like to watch on television. Let's look at some other types of technology. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on her computer at home. A computer is also a type of technology. We use a computer to work on. We might also use a computer to play games on. Pepper and George love playing Happy Mrs Chicken on Mummy Pig's computer. We should always ask a grown-up though before we use their computer. Look, Pepper and George are playing their favourite game on a tablet now. A tablet is also a type of technology. It's a small computer that we can carry around with us. Perhaps you've used one before. Today, George is shopping for a new dinosaur. Hello, Dino Roar! Roar! Look at that! Dino Roar walks and talks. A toy like Dino Roar can also be a type of technology. Oh dear, oh. Dino Roar has run out of battery. The batteries inside Dino Roar are what makes him work. Look, George's other dinosaur doesn't have batteries inside. So he's not a type of technology. He's just a lovely toy. Uh -oh. oh dear, dinner is burnt. But not to worry, Daddy Pig is ordering a takeaway on his mobile phone. A phone is also a type of technology. We can use a phone for lots of things. We can phone our family and friends and speak to them. We can make a video call and see them too. We can take a picture, play a game. And we can even use our phone to pay for things. Well done, that was some great learning. You learned that technology works by using electricity or batteries. You 
also learned about different types of technology, including a television, a computer, a tablet, some toys, and a mobile phone. Have you seen some of these types of technology around your home? Why don't you have a look and see how many you can find? Learn with Peppa Pig. Safety. Today, we're going to learn about different ways we can stay safe. It's important to stay safe so we don't get hurt. Shall we start? <laughs> Police Officer Panda is teaching Peppa and her friends how to cross the road safely. When we cross the road, we should always be with a grown-up. Before crossing the road, we should stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man. What should we remember when crossing the road? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. That's right. We should stop, look, and listen. It's all clear. There are no cars, and it's safe to cross now. Pepper and her friends have crossed the road safely. <laughs> you should also be careful at home when things might be hot, sharp, or fragile and break easily. Pepper and her family are making pizzas in the kitchen. Mmm, they do look yummy. Look, Mummy Pig is wearing oven gloves to put the pizzas into the oven. The oven is hot, so we should be very careful. Daddy Pig's barbecue is also hot. Fire can burn us. Take care, Daddy Pig. Oh dear! Miss Rabbit to the rescue. Thank you, Mummy Firefighters. There are other things we should also be careful of at home. In the kitchen, we might use a knife for chopping or cutting up food. It's very sharp, so you should let a grown-up do it for you. Yippee! <laughs> Sometimes we can wear special safety clothes to help us stay safe. Pepper and George are fishing with Grandpa Pig on his boat. Oh, Pepper's caught a boot. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing bright yellow life jackets. Look, can you see? A life jacket keeps us safe when we're on a boat, so it's important to wear one. Shall we see what else we might wear to keep us safe around water? Look, Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Peppa and George wear armbands in the swimming pool to help them float and stay safe. We wear armbands when we're learning to swim. Let's have a look at some of the other places where we might wear different things to help us stay safe. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are learning to ride their bikes. They wear helmets on their heads to keep them safe in case they fall off. Look, it's Mr. Bull! Mr. Bull is a construction worker. He wears a hard hat and a bright yellow vest to keep him safe and seen at work. Mummy Pig and Miss Rabbit wear special yellow uniforms to keep them safe from fire. Fire can burn, so it's important for them to protect themselves. Yippee! <laughs> Ooh, look! Madam Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game? Fantastic! Let's go! What should we wear when we're learning to swim to help us float and stay safe? That's right! Armbands! What should we do before we cross the road? We should stop, look and listen and wait for the green man. What should grown-ups wear when taking things out of the oven? That's right again! They should wear oven gloves to protect their hands. Remember, only grown-ups should take things out of the oven. What should we wear when we ride on a boat? Yes, a life jacket. And what should we wear on our heads when riding a bike? 
Well done! A helmet to protect our heads! You've just learned about some of the different ways we can stay safe and some of the safety clothes that we might wear to protect us. Learn with Peppa Pig. Fruits and vegetables. Today, we're going to learn about fruits and vegetables. Peppa and her friends love eating fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are very good for us. There are lots of different fruits and vegetables. Shall we find out about some of them? <laughs> Great! Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Grandpa Pig is growing lots of different fruits and vegetables. Look, apple trees. Oh, a lovely red apple. Apples grow on trees, but not all fruit does. Other fruit might grow from plants, like strawberries or tomatoes. Tomatoes are also a fruit. I'll help you, George. Look, a carrot. One, two, three, pull! Some vegetables, like carrots, grow underground. Where do fruits and vegetables grow? That's right, on trees, plants or underground. Shall we have a look at some different types of fruits and vegetables? Yippee! Great! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are choosing their favourite fruit. There are lots to choose from. Peppa's favourite fruit is an apple. An apple is round and crunchy and can be red or green. Susie Sheep's favourite fruit is an orange. An orange is round and juicy and the colour orange. You have to peel an orange before you eat it. Emily Elephant's favourite fruit is a banana. A banana is long and yellow and soft to eat. You also have to peel a banana to eat it. I wonder what George's favourite fruit is. A strawberry. Strawberries are small, red and sweet to eat. You can mix different fruits together to make a delicious smoothie. Mm. <laughs> oh, look. Baby Alexander is eating broccoli. Baby Alexander loves broccoli. Broccoli is a vegetable. These stools look like little trees. They're broccoli! <laughs> look, here is some broccoli growing in Grandpa Pig's garden. Broccoli is green and looks a little bit like a tiny tree. Shall we see what else Grandpa Pig is growing? Found one! Some lettuce. That's a big one. Lettuce is green and round with lots of leaves. Some carrots. Carrots are long and orange with green tops. Oh look, Pepper and George have found another orange vegetable. Do you know what this is? It's a pumpkin. A pumpkin is large, round and orange. These are just a few vegetables. There are lots of different ones to try. <laughs> Oh look, it's Mr. Potato and he's playing a game about fruits and vegetables. Shall we join in? What is a strawberry, fruit or vegetable? That's right, a strawberry is a fruit. What is a carrot, fruit or vegetable? Well done, a carrot is a vegetable. What is a banana, fruit or vegetable? Right again, a banana is a fruit. What is a lettuce, fruit or vegetable? Correct, a lettuce is a vegetable. And what is an orange, fruit or vegetable? That's right again, an orange is a fruit. Well done. And now for a special bonus question. Which fruit is round? can be red or green, and grows on a tree. Hmm. That's right, an apple! Great work! Well done. You've just learned about different types of fruits and vegetables, and how some of them grow. 
What's your favorite fruit and vegetable? Why don't you try something new? Learn with Peppa Pig, a family of words. Today, we're going to learn about word families. <coughs> word families are groups of words that have the same root or base letters in them. There are lots of different word families. Shall we have a look at some of them? Yay! Great! Let's go. Let's look at our first word family, at. At is the base of this word family. Now, let's find some words that belong to the at word family. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Oh, look, Granny Pig is wearing a lovely hat. Look, hat is part of the at word family. If we add to the base letters at, we get the word hat. Let's see what else belongs to the at word family. Pepper and her friends are playing with a bat and ball. Your turn, Susie Sheep. Susie Sheep is holding the bat. Look, bat is also part of the at word family. Hat and bat are both part of the at word family. Well done. You've just learned your first word family. Let's have a look at another one. Yippee! <laughs> Our next word family is in. In is the base of this word family. Oh, Daddy Pig is changing Baby Alexander's nappy. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Let's look at this word, bin. Bin is part of the in word family. If we add b to in, we get the word bin. Let's find another word that's part of the in word family. Pepper and her friends are at the bowling alley. Woohoo! A super strike for a super bowler. Look, this is a bowling pin. Pin is also part of the in word family. If we add p to the base letters in, we get the word pin. Bin and pin are both part of the in word family. Well done. Yippee! <laughs> Another word family is it. Let's find some words that belong to this word family. Daddy Pig is doing the washing. What a nice clean football kit. Kit is part of the it word family. If we add k to it, we get the word kit. Let's find another word that belongs to the it word family. <laughs> Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sand pit. Broom, broom. Pit is also part of the it word family. If we add p to the base letters it, we get the word pit. Kit and pit are both part of the it word family. Excellent. Yippee! <laughs> Our last word family is ot. Ot is the base of this word family. Now, let's find some words that belong to this word family. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George his greenhouse. Ooh, that plant smells lovely in that flower pot. Pot is part of the Ot word family. If we add p to Ot, we get the word pot. What else might be part of the Ot word family? Let's see. Baby Alexander is going to sleep in his cot. Cot is also part of the ot word family. If we add k to the base letters ot, we get the word cot. Pot and cot both belong to the ot word family. Great work! Oh, look, <laughs> Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Let's have our own game. Are you ready? Yippee! Let's go! Can you find two words that belong to the ot word family? Good work! Cot and pot both belong to the ot word family. Which two words belong to the at word family? Uh, 
That's right. Hat and bat belong to the at word family. And which two words belong to the in word family? Right again. Bin and pin both belong to the in word family. Yippee! Great work. You've just learned about the at, in, it, and ot word families. Why don't you try and think of some others? Have fun! <laughs>